M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Yaesu FTM100D, C4FM, VHF, UHF, GPS and APRS transceiver. M0FXB, just going to show you my settings I put into the FTM100 and then we've just received a packet on the FT5, so you just go like, let's get it right, so F and go to list. And then M0FXB-9 is the one we got. And look, that's what it looks like there. And it came from my FTM100. And it's 27 miles away, even though it's here, lol. So, um, I'm just going to show you my settings. So, the first thing is create a memory channel. So, when you're in VFO mode, type in into your, your fist mic, I did. 144800. There it goes. You can hear it. It's doing intervals every minute at the moment. So I'm just going to show you the uh, settings. Go hold down DISP and then go to number 10. Number 10. Now, of course, you, I've already put my call sign in this radio just for ham radio digital purposes. So number 14, if we select that. And again, my call sign's in there. Okay, and I could put Andy in there as well. But anyway, back. So anyway, number 10. Select DISP and we'll just start from the top and I'll just show you what I've set. Remember it's 144800 Simplex FM. So APRS Compass, I didn't touch that. Didn't touch Destination. APRS Filter, I haven't touched that. Number four, Text Message, I did do that. I just put in, um, oh, I put it in a different place, but let's just put one in anyway. So just go H. H, uh, I've got one across and then I for now. And then go back. Okay, so I did do that. Right, <laughs> APRS modem, touch that. You want that on, up and down with this, and then hit the DISP, and then back. APRS mute, that's so you don't hear that sound, that screechy sound. So we'll just hit that, and we can have that on or off. And at the moment, the mute is off, so we should hear it. Down to number seven, pop-ups. So we just hit DISP, and we do want pop-ups, and it's how long... And do I want my packet to show? I'm going to put on. Okay. Back back button, then number go down to number A. APRS ringer. I didn't touch that. So should we put it on? It's all on anyway. So go back. APRS ringer core. I haven't done anything there. Number 10, APRS TX delay. Because I'm testing. Actually, I didn't change that setting, but when I went to 11, no, let's go back. So I didn't touch the APRS units. Beacon info select. Ambiguity. So if you turn that on, it doesn't give your exact location. Let's go back. Beacon status text. So we just left that as default. And I could put something in the text, I suppose. Let's just go like so. Look, let's do frequency, squelch, and shift. So it should show that here. Let's go back. Back. Beacon TX. DISP. And I've put on. And I've done an interval of one minute because we're doing some tests. But normally I think you'd set at least about five or maybe even longer. So back. Uh... Digipath didn't change it. There it goes. It's just gone off there. Look. I wonder if it left any messages or any frequencies. No, just off duty. Okay, let's go back to what we're up to. Like so. Digipath. So I didn't change that. Look, it says wide one, wide two. I haven't changed that back then go my call sign disp m0 fxb dash nine which you've got up here on my ft5 go back message group i haven't touched that 18 message reply just put hi so there's a blank bit there for call sign and reply go back 19 position set. I've put GPS, but you could put manual. 
And if you do, you can set those manual coordinates in menu number 20. I've just put some rough ones in for now. 21, you choose your symbol. So I've chosen a car. Position comment. Off duty, I could change it to en route. And then go back. Smart beacon and not touched anything on that. Status off. Okay, go back. Sort filter, haven't touched that. Voice alert, again, haven't touched that. And that's it. So back out, and you can, see, and it's basically been working. Um, and you can see that there it goes again. Just went off again. Let's see if I can send her, send it the other way. So we'll go F. Let's go back out of that. F menu, and then we'll go. Where is it? Beacon TX. So just come in there. And then if we hit this button, we can see our location. So normally you would just hold down the GM button. And you'd have the list of stations, but I don't seem to be getting them. Let me know why. And I'm not getting the pop-ups. And I have enabled pop-ups. Uh, APRS. So we'll just uh, select that, go to pop up, and I'll change that back to what it was, which is I think about 10. That's it, and go down, do 10 seconds, my packet is on, okay, go back, back back and if we do the TX so we'll go F beacon TX it will be lost connection now oh it's flashing now Let's try it again beacon TX and it, it receives it let's do that again as you can see and it sends it out and I'm getting that so why am I not getting pop-ups and receiving APRS? What am I doing wrong at the very end here? So hit this one here. Look at my list. Select. And I'm getting, you know, I'm getting it. But when it sends it out. Like so, FM. I mean, it is flashing. Is it not sending out properly? Maybe I should put it on the GPS fix location. And I've got GPS as manual anyway. So really, when I beacon, and we get that signal, we should be getting a pop-up, and then when I hold this down, I should see all the pop-ups. Let me know what's going wrong. Okay, 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on.